Good evening and welcome to the Michelle and Money podcast where we discuss issues surrounding financial literacy. I'm Nelo Mukhozi and on today's episode we're discussing product marketing and mileage derived from engaging online influencers with Mr. Jaconia Malunga. Mr. Jaconia Malunga is a seasoned professional with knowledge in research, regulations, economist analysis, market intelligence, and he's also an author. He holds a master degree in business administration and economic degree from the University of Botswana, Chunin. Thank you and welcome to yet another episode of Mashele Money Podcast. Today we're discussing product marketing. Um, and this is derived from, um, you know, we have a lot of influencers online. How do you pick influencers online? We are talking business today. We are talking innovative ways of doing business going into the future. And in helping us um, in that conversation, we have Mr. Malunga. Mr. Malunga, thank you so much for joining us at Mashele. Thank you very much for inviting me. I'm honored to be on this show. Wonderful. Uh, Mr. Malunga, before we start, I, I always like to give my guests um, an opportunity to, to introduce themselves, just to give our viewers an idea of who you are. Um, um, I'm Jokonia Malunga. Um, uh, the best way to describe myself is that I'm a serial entrepreneur. I have been interested in uh, a wide range of uh, sectors uh, from uh, entertainment to research to publishing and to branding as you can see uh, as well here an interface uh, platform for township uh, economy uh, enterprises uh, to corporate and the business community uh, well I'm into uh, research uh, definitely uh, I did economics uh, at UB. I did a uh, master's in business administration at the University of Botswana also. And uh, I'm passionate about social enterprise, I'm passionate about social entrepreneurship, and uh, Ignite Wealth and Michelle uh, Magazine podcast is the place to be. I uh, hope you get something out of this uh, discussion. Thank you. So Malunga, thank you, thank you so much uh, for that. Um, you know, before we start, um, the, the the first thing that struck me uh, in Ilakanya Um, uh, you know, what is that? Um, where is that coming from? Uh, well, Zwagala uh, means be head. Yes. Or come. Uh huh. So, uh, in uh, us trying to create a bridge mm. between. Uh, our startups, our small small medium enterprises, and uh, the corporate world, mm. and the business community at large, we thought, what platform could we bring that really uh, brings uh, all these uh, uh, links together, all these layers of mm. business together, mm. realizing that uh, uh, the markets are dynamic and we live in a global uh, world. So we thought, because we're interested in social entrepreneurship, what best way to do it than to say be head? And mm. who should be head? Mm. Mm. The people who struggle the most, especially with information and financial uh, literacy, are our startups and our people in the townships. Yes. So Zwakale is a <clears throat> platform that says, whatever we have apart from assisting and helping each other with finance, mm. can we share some knowledge? Can yes. we share some experiences, which I think uh, Michelle um, Magazine podcast is about that. It's about yes. financial literacy because we can only uh, sustain and uh, uh, and uh, uh, be profitable by getting some knowledge. Yes, that's why we are we created Zwagala. Yes, and Michelle, the place to be to reach out and share those experiences yeah you know you, you, you know I'm, I'm thinking right now what how we are the connecting um the the, the small micro um, enterprises the informal sector it business selling what are quite established <clears throat> because Rune as a country Ella, um, we are not uh, really enterprising um economy most of our people 
um haba itse thata ka ka business ya lo but yeah. not necessarily so yeah. um we 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 we've always um traded and yeah. it's only that um we didn't have developed ways of trading that's that's what i've always believed yeah. because growing up um i'm sure lo yena o ka o ka gatella yena khanye we used to have you know astute businessmen in our communities a ke go go gaolong no go na le monna mogolo mongwe na thaba di khomo <laughs> eh, and a or, or you had um, a, a baker, you know, a hundred and twenty consulates in two heads in total, but who do so a technology of whole whole, yes, you know. Sir. Um, so how do I label it? You know, um, fast forward uh, 50 years later, you find all of those businesses are shut now, yes. and they're not shut because the people did not identify or there's a need for a product and they created the product, yes, they're yes. shut because. Um, they did not have information of better ways of doing business. Yes. Um, so is is that what Zokala is trying to, to to put together to ensure those businesses are either revived or those selling or they are similar to the Yes, in a way, in a big way, yes. Mm. That's, that, that's the whole point because mm. it's about sharing uh, information, but also uh, sustaining the businesses and you can only sustain when you understand your products when you understand the market when mm -hmm. you understand uh, your niche whenever there is a niche yes. because uh, business is about targeting it's mm -hmm. about uh, uh, segmenting your market it's about targeting and positioning your 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 products and services in people's minds so that they they you signal uh, good intention and mm -hmm. uh, 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 and we, we we buy products remember or we 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 we, we buy products because we get utility out mm. of them mm. what's the difference between uh, you getting a product from a and b but selling the same product mm. there is certain elements there is certain aspects we look at the service uh, standard the service level the cleanliness and whatever mm. so you can't sell if you don't understand your product mm. and you can't sell and be profitable and be sustainable if you don't understand your market mm. so the point here is that zwakale is bringing a bridge Mm. to say let's share let's document let's learn let's mm. experience there's nothing wrong about failing mm. in fact there's mm. nothing yes. i can share <clears throat> my story here mm. uh, when i was doing uh, my master's at ub mm. i got shot when uh, the results for the first uh, part came because mm. i didn't do well in research mm. which surprisingly now it's what has brought me here in essence in a big way mm, because mm. i didn't do well in research but amongst the students for my class i was one of the best maybe if not the best mm. because there was a gentleman who was really good in quantitative mm. then i was good in qualitative because i write i'm a publisher i've yes. published five books on regulations and business uh, yeah. the business uh, uh, landscape in essence yes. so Zwakala is about bridging about sharing uh, experiences that enrich us mm. from all levels because we must remember we also are interested in keeping our township economy thriving yes. so how can we do that we can only do that by using the modern uh, tools to 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 get to keep ourselves informed or yes. to keep our businesses informed mm. and also the links that are relevant in terms of reducing risk mm. in terms of uh, uh, improving our trading systems and operations yes. and that's where uh, the engagement of promoters in terms of product comes in because yes. we must remember there are five <clears throat> aspects mm. in terms of product uh, marketing it's the product mm. you know your product you can only manufacture or produce a product because there is a need in the market yes. surely you can't bring something to the market if you don't understand yes. the need Absolutely. in the market yeah so the product the pricing also has to be right which means you are quite versed in terms of the pricing systems and the market needs the supply and demand mm. The, mm. Ma the market forces mm. then the, it's the product the price the place mm. obviously a product that sells well in in Kaburuni wouldn't sell that nicely maybe in Khainzi or Mau. Yes. So you have to know your place, you have to know the the trends, you have to know the behavior, the customer consumer behavior mm. and trends and preferences. Mm. And then mm. obviously the play the product, the price, the place, the people and the promotion also has to adapt to new mm. ways of doing business yes. as you well yes. 
uh, averse yes. to that. So, Mr. Malunga, yeah. you know how real, yeah, just this morning I was from the gym and I, I, I met one gentleman, Mudi Restrumu, yeah. um, just after taking a shower. So it was very cold. Yeah. So this gentleman was complaining about the sun. Um, so hardly ever go to one of the 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 the, the fans. Yeah. So there's a lot of cold air. Yeah, it's an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, so he was looking at it. Oh, oh, health conscious. Yeah. And then he was like, "Can I come? Eh, how it's an hour and a half filter. I'm not going to go to the road. It can actually affect us. Yes. You know. But everyone else was, was okay. kind of calm. Yeah. You know how sometimes you find some sun and then we are kind of calm. Yeah. So we are just um, having a chat. Um, he has stayed in the UK for, some, for a couple of years. Yes. Um, I, I, I train at them. Um, so I tell us, you know, the, the type of series <clears throat> that you get accustomed to, how you know, everything is always functioning. Like, the Basidina did some I am about that thing at Alehas and the defense that they are Trailer, you know, like, <laughs> like, like everything is functional. Everything now, is super perfect. Yeah, you come to Botswana, yeah. you know, you, you have to accept uh, mediocrity, you know, you 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 settle for the Ote, the Siberian, Corley, now go with Talan Summer Song Siberica, like you get shocked. Like, get shocked, is, yeah. is this is yeah. this a new thing? Is this new? <laughs> so, how do you have a kind of one or can you know? One of the ways, and and this comes to your point, you know, your customer service. Right? Yeah. One of the ways, say, you know, because but uh, the creature say, they adopt to certain things and then they follow certain habits. Yes. Once, you know, so I look that restaurant. Every time when you go there, you will always find this coffee, and it never changes, right? Yeah. Most of the time, we tell you, Baba tako na baya thing. Kwa ilongo ro kona le consistent. But how about your restaurant taro? It has good coffee, but sometimes you don't find it. Sometimes we tell our guys strong ya, and sometimes we tell our guys light thing ya. Most of the time, most of thing they can't recommend friends because they don't know what. Let's say sile ui samba to thing ba 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 tonpera ba ui tela wanse ya. You know, and 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 I just like that example because I feel. Or most of our local businesses say long or hardy academy address in the in the long run. Dibola yeah. like on worry, bab never pal like on a consistent. So when the chain stores, the big ones, they came because Bonne Navata with a, a consistent a policy of of marketing, of shelving, of doing all sorts of things. How so go shop when yeleko haveroni. How we tell our palate, we tell the same thing. How we tell our we get we tell the same thing. Yeah. Um. So 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 I, I I don't know from your research. I want to deal with the the local businesses more, especially those selling or the healthy diwa. Um. What are some of the reasons selling or who know the bona or but what the bua or any little quite or any little thing or about the ba 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 tiwa um get this big um um retailers from there. Error. Uh. I think uh, for those that are in the business uh, landscape, mm. we understand there is mentorship. Yes. And then for for those also, even those who are not in business, obviously we all know we need uh, uh, to be handheld at some point in time. Yes. For so many reasons. Sometimes, uh, you know, that brings me to the issue of uh, startups and uh, small medium enterprises. Yes, uh, I've experienced a, a situation where you find that most times when businesses are struggling, we quick to think about finance. That is the main issue. Yeah, but yeah. sometimes finance is not the main issue. Yes, finance is not necessarily the main issue for all businesses. Mm. So we tend to generalize most mm. of them, which is wrong. So it can be finance, it can be administrative issues, it can be operational issues. Yeah. Yes, and then it can be the market environment or the business uh, landscape in terms of the regulations that do not support mm, uh, mm, businesses. Yes. And there's also the issue of credit <clears throat> mm. because most of our businesses lack uh, collateral mm. maybe to get uh, uh, credit, uh, uh, to meet credit requirements from the big uh, or giant uh, Resellers, resellers or wholesalers. Yes, yes. For instance, without naming uh, Dropy a name, mm. an egg, 
uh, wholesaler A mm. could have certain credit requirements mm. and also the timelines, you know, 30 day credit, 60 days, 90 days credit. Mm. But our businesses are bound to default for one reason or another. Mm. Here I can quote a situation where you have a, a, a tag shop in your corner, in your mm. neighborhood corner. Mm. You know, that gentleman or ladies used to certain levels of stock. You know, they stock two TPs, toilet papers. Mm. They stock two uh, slabs of margarine. They stock two uh, <laughs> bales of yeah. whatever, you yes, know. Yes. But then if you throw money at them, mm. you are putting them in trouble because mm. money comes with interest and interest is a cost to business. Mm. Mm. So sometimes we tend to get into loans that really end up uh, 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 getting our businesses into, into a corner. Yes. And the issue of credit and the issue of uh, uh, mentorship, mm -hmm. I think those are big issues apart from the others. Mm -hmm. But obviously finance is a big issue. Mm -hmm. Capital depends on the level of business mm -hmm. we are in. Mm -hmm. If it's a small enterprise, it may depend on the line of uh, the products or service they are offering. Mm. So mm. finance may not always be the issue. Yes. But then again, <clears throat> you know, uh, capital mm. is quite a big issue mm. because I think our systems do not allow our enterprises to survive on their own. Mm. They always caught up in a vicious cycle of <laughs> credit mm. Mm. of the mm. mm. So such that they always servicing the uh, goal of over a long uh, period of time, which mm. kills the sustainability and the profitability. Mm. And mm. also, uh, I think, I don't know if it's part of our culture. Mm. Uh, uh, I could be wrong on this one. Because most of the time, we are not much into uh, collaborative efforts. Yes, yeah. yes. Lately, yes. I think we have all observed uh, banks trying to push Maborodimku yes, trying to push uh, yes, Metello yes, kind of setups. Yes. Because you know, traditionally we have our our cooperatives yes. which served that. Yes. But then uh, I don't know, I don't want to say they have fallen. Yeah. I, I don't want to say that. But then we've yeah. seen the banks pushing that. Yeah. So uh, I hope in, in the future, in the near future, there could be a bridge that mm. bridges that. Yeah. I think yeah. I think I think I think yeah. that is that is very key yeah. because um when you speak about financial literacy and we in all of our conversations, we yeah. always try to to get to a point where we associate um, the problems that we are having a, as a community yeah. um, to, 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 to failure to understand finances, yes. right? Because you look at, um, you, you have said so many examples, um, uh, you know, you, you have spoken about um, finance not always being an issue um, for businesses. Yes. There's, a, there's a toolkit that we use normally when we are dealing with um, startups and, um, you know, um, very, very small businesses, the informal sector and all, even, 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 even businesses which are growing, um, which basically um, um, takes an entrepreneurship through 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 a template that asks them questions yes. of where their business is, and then um, after finding out where their business is, then there will be different financing options. Oh, yeah. Certain businesses, the option will be get money from friends, get money from um, people family, your, from your yeah. family, yeah. because the banks will not touch you. Because there's yeah. no reason why right now um, everybody wants to go to Sida. Everybody wants to go to the banks, yeah. but they don't know that um, they feel like maybe CEDA doesn't want to help or the banks don't want to help. But yes. the thing is, where they are in business, those institutions cannot entertain them because yes. they have a certain policy and a certain way of doing yes. things, right? Um, but because of the lack of this understanding, and I think maybe um, the likes of um, your, your CEDAs and the banks should do more um, in terms of going out there and saying, look, if you are at the stage, we don't touch you at all. That's and they have to be vocal about it. So yes. that, um, because the, the idea of always thinking that you might get funding from a bank, when you get disappointed, there's a serious mental breakdown that happens. Yes, you know, just in like in writing. Yeah. Writer's block. <laughs> Writer's block. And then you are like, oh man, banks can't help. Yeah. What, I can, what can I do, yeah. right? Uh, but once you know that, look, I can't get funding between year one um, and this particular year. Yeah. Um, if I'm going to get funding, I, I need to look to a friend and say, uh, Mr. Malunga, look, I have this model. Um, I know that you are working. Um, do you think you can give me 10,000, 20,000? And, yeah. it, you know, it, it shouldn't come as a, as a friendly as gesture. A friendly gesture. You, yeah. you need to get there and actually give him a proposal and say, look, this is how I'm going to make money. 
yeah. right? Um, I'll be able to make profits from this point and I'll be able to pay you back from this point, right? Yeah. If yeah. we can do that, there's money everywhere, yeah. right? The yeah. problem is that sometimes we don't know um, what to say, who to approach and, yeah. and, and, and how to approach them, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and, and you've said, um, um, you know, uh, another example um, um, regarding uh, businesses, um, the, 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 uh, our, the older generation business, which is, which is something that, uh, uh, you know, I was asking also on your research, um, speaking to businesses that have, um, um, that have shut down, yeah, right? Yeah. Because I know that there were very, very successful businesses back in the day. But they did not go down because um, your your large retailer came through. Yeah. They went down because the money was not used well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they went yeah. down because yeah. the money was not used yeah. well. They were making so much money, but they continued to pr to produce at the same level. The same level, right? Yes, like yes. you were giving yeah. example of someone who stocks the sugar CPD or majarne alamararo. Even when you are making a lot of money. You still want you to still do, want the, to same do the same thing. <laughs> you are not thinking expanding. Yeah. You are not thinking um all of those things. Yeah, no, Mr. Malunga, we are going to go for a quick ad break. Um, Harabua, um, in the the the, the core of our discussion for 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 for, for today. Yes, I guess. Sir. A. Yes, sir. Um, if you're just joining us now, um, we are ha having a discussion around uh, products. We are having a discussion around marketing. We are having a discussion around entrepreneurship. Can I Mr. Malunga? Ignite Wealth presents to you Mashelang Magazine. This business publication is meant to revive the economy through financial education. We cover financial insights, fashion, stock markets, welfare, entrepreneurship, entertainment, technology, real estate, tourism, agriculture, mining, sports, and financial literacy for kids. Mashelling Magazine is meant to break the taboo regarding money not being an open discussion in communities around us. How to make it, how to grow it, how to leverage from it, and how to have it work for you in an attempt to build wealth. Mashelling speaks to an average parent, professional, student, or member of the community seeking personal and professional success by creating a healthier relationship with Mashelling Arona. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Um, Rahwa Mugala Khape, Mumashelem Money Podcast. Can I Mr. Malunga, if you're just joining us now, Ribuaka Product Marketing, we are talking about entrepreneurship. Mr. Malunga, very, very interesting discussions that we had uh, before the break. So, we have Ribuaka Product Marketing. Mungole mungo bata ho konsa product da ka hoi aise kuba tu, e patal le kuba tu. Uh, it could be a corporate, it could be a small business, jalo jalo. billboard, social media, influencers, Thank you again uh, for uh, having me uh, on the show. Well, there's so many reasons to to that. Mm. But I think this is what I is to say what about worrying in business matters. Because I get a social I get a period, do power ever. Yes. We care that social status, but business is serious. Because mm. business, 
Rebuaka Madi mm. and Rebuaka investment. Yes. Then we must remember so some like uh, investment or postpone monato won't be you know, that satisfaction now for tomorrow. Absolutely. And the hope is that there is growth. Absolutely. Here. But as you have already uh, said, Betali means Yaoka Yaoka it's like a product. But the most important thing is the relevance mm. your product. Because mm. I mean surely how we saw Surely, how qua qua producer a product yellow mm. or a market, however, because we must remember in economics, when I'm in supply and demand, yes, and the kind of how 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 venture into business, yes, but mm. like we are not only Matsilo, mm. yeah, mm. Mm. but Matsilo are very key uh, to. The value chain yes. across the economy. Yes. The supplier, the mm. producer, both the packaging company, mm. and then the economy at large, obviously the GDP. Yes. So here in the context of Botswana, for a long time, uh, import substitution. For yes. import at heart, at the time of the local government, our manufacturing base, mm. our mm. production base. Yes. Agar. So, 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 we need a product, but a product that's relevant. Mm. So, product is relevant. It's relevant. How can someone say it's also? Government is aware of social media, that especially yes. Facebook. Yeah. For our local government, you're going to move to engage or move engage it. Time. For our local government, the value is our own. Mm. the mileage you get from every pula you spend. Tara mm. wa five hundred pula one nela helore Mr Malunga Truzwakala ko parong kasete malait. So how can we kasete kere machine magazine te yuko fairground yeah. or the office yeah. building? So yeah. so yeah. what yes. out of that? Yes. So yes. from Kotalohanya Motum in Gaydam, Rebua here got the uh, social media influencers in mm. particular. Mm. You have to understand their product, themselves, them as a product already, as a brand. Mm. So mm. their brand must speak to your brand mm. because, right, we have values, business mm. in a culture, mm. in a lady values, in a yes. image. <coughs> so surely you can't uh, contract the Motuo, you run a bed. Mm. Uh, vibe mm. or image, mm. they can hurt your brand, obviously, mm. and you don't want that. Mm. And also, when I'm more interjecting, I get how my get on the account, the kira, the t shirt, the aggregate, the kira t shirt. It's one so segment of my get. Kids or are these t shirts meant for the uh, uh, just uh, recently graduated mm. young men between 25 and 35? What's a jam? I look at the target. What are his attributes? What are his preferences? What are the trends in the global market? Because mm. we're living in a global mm. uh, landscape. Mm. Mm. So from there, we can engage someone. Read your mileage. So what is the answer? I'm not going to tell you, Mr. Malunga. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you, Mr. Country. I think we have an obsession about likes and um, and followers. Um ana tota hela gantsi ba go te influence ga go tswa motho eleng gore o gona go hetwa maikutu a ba thokana ka ba thwantse ba le ba dilo ka teng a influence a ger and most of batho ba eleng gore they have a large following um they do have influence right mo ba thumba eleng gore ba ba sala morago but like u bua it depends go gore ke the what type of influence a ger uh, some people uh, are, are, are pornographic. Yes. I get yes, So they are influencing that. people sexually. Sexu yes. I get So that. they will have 4 million followers. Yes. It's a big following, right? Yeah. Um, so how am I shilling in Ignite World wants to advertise? Am I going for that person? Because I'm going to be <laughs> <laughs> reaching out to 4 million people, right? Eh, Moto Mungwe, maybe a musician. Ke motho eleng gore wa o pela o re tuya ke batho o na le di like tse di ntsentse le batho eleng gore ba mofolo ba tho ba mofolo wa ke batho eleng gore ba re entertainment and chances are if you were maybe to diagnose the the followers you will find gore ha go ke batho ba eleng gore 90% of them are unemployed and when you are pushing a product that needs somebody who can actually get a loan wa bana from 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 a formal sector a khona go tsa loan a ba khona re tare ka product a ga go but I think mo botswana hela we are just obsessed about um the the like ya ne ke ba tlo go botsa se Mr Malunga gore 
what is wrong with um, um, picking like 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 how things used to be done in the past before um, this thing of people with so many likes mm-hmm. where you pick someone Hongor uh, Ubana Mr Malunga what's Mr Malunga Mr Malunga ele motho ile ngore no wa hitsela re ke motho u tsharang sente u dirilese me a sore ke motho influential ga mole ga mole and then you build Mr Malunga mo branding ba gago like you, you know how brands used to do <laughs> yeah. it in the past yes 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 some random person just yeah. comes up hari mo itsi gore tswa go kae and then ba simola bone they build that person a ba mo dira ambassador ya brand every time how bona that person you see that company Yeah. Well, one, right. But with today <laughs> with influencers today that are with this person come so lenga line that with another person that with another person I get to that home the brand the bike le go hela talk so the more especially more especially your corporates because bona they are very very sensitive and they need to be very clear about who they want to associate with and haba ba the disruption ya gore ka moso ba sthola bana lo wena o le go sele or local competitor and stuff like that. Yes. I think on that one, this is really a quite interesting one, uh, perspectively. Because if you look at uh, our society, Botswana mm-hmm. in, uh, in particular, mm-hmm. we are quite a conservative uh, society. Yes. I think we are we are consensus, consensus orientated mm, uh, mm. for a lack of a better word yes. but without trying to offend anyone yeah or that quota mentality mm, to mm, consensus in mm. and then again we are living in a different uh, uh, age yes yeah we always chasing time we are pressed for time yeah and then uh, on the issue of uh, building uh, uh, our own brand ambassador mm. i think it's the issue of uh, us not uh, being willing to invest mm. in mm. raw talent because yes. it could be a, a former athlete mm. without much following on facebook yes. but we can build that and just drum that up and build that yes but then coming to those we have following mm. i think we live on social media Mm, we mm, do live on mm. social media i think on this one we can all agree <laughs> that yeah. we have probably two three phones at mm, a time mm. and we real our lives revolve around social media mm. which brings us to the issue of following mm. so in terms of business and in terms of finance and in terms of that puller mm. you have to ask yourself if i engage zwagala for 500 pula yes. for a mere mention how much uh, impact is that mention making mm. because here we have to understand there is the issue of niche mm. and target mm. your target market is what you have in mind when you produce your product mm. right but your niche is what you can pick from that those 800,000 uh, followers there could be 10 their potential buyers mm. so mm. our interest should be on the buyers mm. our interest should be on the conversion Mm-hmm. At least we must justify or the promoter must justify by showing us numbers it's a numbers game mm-hmm. there is no point in having 850 followers and converting none mm-hmm. so at least we must have some kind of conversion we must have some kind of measure mm-hmm. we must have some kind of conformance level mm-hmm. to justify that puller because mm-hmm. money is expensive yeah. i mean in the end money is yes. expensive yes. i think absolutely yeah. absolutely and can i agree ronato i've been in sales for for, for a very long time so Um, we believe Tata in the in the in the Pareto rule, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, out of the 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 attempts are uh, uh, you know uh, it's a hundred uh, yeah. you are probably going to convert twenty, um, and then eighty are uh, going to And um, uh, and that is very true, yeah. right? That is that that is very true. But na kung magkina lo level on social media and then abik level la the conversion rates. Uh, you know um so you find um someone puts out a post um that will reach uh, 100,000 people and then it will have um 20,000 likes right because yeah. the pareto rule applies yes. even on on, on social yes, media there, on right stars, yeah. yeah and then um there will be 20,000 likes and then from the 20,000 likes um there will be about uh, uh, 4000 maybe uh, 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 you know uh, comments, and, comments uh, yeah. and stuff like yeah. that which is still another 20% yeah. um right and then i want another 20% that will share 
I get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then now, way way does not connect. It's now on the people that buy because we are expecting or maybe from the from the from the twenty thousand clicks, um, we should be having at least four thousand eleven twelve or they will inquire. Just yes. to inquire, yes. right, yes. from the office. Yes. And then from the 4,000 that inquires, 20% of that 4,000 um, will actually be um, converted to potential hot pipeline. Hot pipeline I get yeah. And then from that 20%, um, we expect 20% to be converted. Yes. Right? Yeah. So how do I label the retail lottery? You know, people are more concerned about the, 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 the they, they look at likes, as if it's a pipeline, as if it's a pipe, yeah. right? Yeah. But it's far from pipeline because I get okay if you're using a furnace, right? Yeah. So if you are getting a, a, a hundred thousand people who have been reached, twenty thousand people who have liked, and then you don't convert a single D, right? Yeah. Um, then you need to redefine yes. why you are paying the influencer, yes. Because I, I've always believed for a there are two things that we can be looking for. One, we are looking to for conversion, for conversion business, yes. or we're just looking for, for visibility. visibility yes. If it's visibility, yeah. I think it's fine. It's fine. It's fine yeah. But a lot of people get it wrong. Yeah. They go for conversion, but they are looking for someone who gives them visibility. Yes, yes. <laughs> you see, <laughs> that one actually is interesting because you yeah. have brands that are already there that don't need that, they don't need the conversion they don't need to pressure anyone to to for lack of a better way yeah, yes, pressure yes. from a peer pressure kind of view yes. uh, without mentioning names yeah abc mm. retail mm. so one is looking for visibility mm. they are obviously a big brand that's there it doesn't need to bring out any it doesn't need to to invest much in terms of uh, uh, in is terms it, of marketing yes, promotions and yes, advertising, yes. then you have one who needs those conversions. Yes. But how do we how do we justify? What instrument can we have that shows for both the seller and the promoter to say, "Here we are. Can we improve?" Mm, An mm. instrument that really just shows the mileage, that shows the conversion in terms of puller yes, spent. Yes, yes, you know, pay. It also depends on the kind of engagements. I mean, in terms of uh, uh, the promotions, in terms of the campaigns, I get. Yeah. It depends also uh, in terms of the in terms of the the, the market also mm. definitely, mm. and also the adaptation to mm. changes. Yes. I mean, like yes. now, if we talk about the issue of well, mm. for instance, mm. if you are, <laughs> if you are going to engage someone uh, for a campaign that ends up uh, irritating your target to your niche mm. you are bound to to fall off to lose uh to lose in terms of your brand uh uh mm. enticement yes. in terms of your yes. f- your brand signaling good intention yes. Yes. also for corporates we must remember there is the issue of corporate social responsibility yes so you don't want to hurt your image yes so i think it's time where we need an instrument yes. to be able to to be shown that uh, well, I invested uh, so much. Can you show me uh, the mileage? Yeah. And then from both the, ends, yes, really from both ends, so that we can have a middle. The ROI, yeah. yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, your return uh, on investment, Mr. Malunga. Yeah. Yes. I wanted us to um, um, just um, in a minute or two, or yeah. about like uh, the reforms digest for John, um, this book. Yeah, Mr. Malunga. He book a book here, Mr. Malunga. It's, it's book number six. Yes, it's book number six. Hey. So, um, what, what, are, what are you, what are you, uh, what message are you putting out there? Uh, I think, in essence, uh, what we all are aware of is that the president has said in his speeches, in whatever forums, that we need to transform. Mm. He has said we need to reset. But within reset, we need to, 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 to reform. And reforms can be legislative or regulatory. Mm. So that book addresses that in essence, sector per sector, industry by industry. And also we must remember Botswana is a member of trading yeah. blocks mm. like your SACUS, your SADEC. Yes. So in us reforming, we have to be looking at the wider uh, range of legislation, agreements, 
bilateral investment treaties and whatever. Yes. And uh, bring ourselves to a level where we can be globally competitive, yeah. where we can sustain our businesses. And remember, Swakali is about <laughs> township enterprises. Yes. I won't forget that. Yeah. Linking them with corporate for sustainability and profitability. Yes. And we are bringing up an instrument, uh, the value aggregate uh, uh, rate instrument, yeah. for us to help our people to stay afloat, be profitable. Zaka, Charo, my dear, let that pillar work for you. Yeah. Let's keep going. Mashelen. Mr. Walunga, I'm taking a little bit of for making time. Our conversation um, uh, was quite short because I feel like there's a lot of content to be exploited there. Um, but the Rana Rinaldi session is in Zinja and I get a little bit of hype so that we can expand more on it. And then also on Norujoyena, we do monthly seminars um, where we engage with entrepreneurs, young people, students, and um, just community leaders are share the idea yeah. in an unfiltered way. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, because we we need we need uh, we need to resolve our own problems. Yes. And um, the only, the best way to do that, um, of your services back out of the Yeah. For the Buka, Lega, Ibonako, Dr. Mayrako, Watergate Mall, Kutu Queen, they are also available from Zokala on 71768049. And then our uh, uh, email address is kemalunga, M A L U N G A dot T A R I Q at gmail dot com. Thank you. Mr. Malunga. Thank you so much again for, <laughs> so. for being with us. Thanks, so. Thank you. Uh, it's my pleasure. All right. All right. <laughs>Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned so much from this episode. And if you want to engage with us or for collaborations, please call us at 39500-26, 39500-26, or visit our social media pages at Ignite Wealth or the Machine Magazine. See you on the next episode. Good evening. Remember, Ignite Wealth is offering the financial wellness visual training every other Sunday at 8 p.m. On the screen are a list of courses offered, which run up until November 2022. You can choose to enroll for one or more of the courses. Find payment details on the bottom of the screen.